In the last video, I made every single one of my predictions regarding who will place where in the Western Conference standings. And in regards to that video, there were a lot of controversial moments in the list. But at the end of the day, it was all my opinion. And within today's video, I will be compiling a list regarding who I think will place where in the Eastern Conference standings. The East this year has gotten stronger with more talented players. And it'll be very interesting to see who will come out on top in the Eastern Conference regular season. Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy, Eli Five Back. Could you guys? with another video and we are reportedly two days away from the NBA regular season's departure so I'm really excited for this season I really can't wait for the season to start we start on Tuesday we are currently on Sunday and in today's video we're going to be doing a part two in regards to my Western Conference and Eastern Conference predictions and in this video I'm going to be compiling a list regarding my Eastern Conference predictions so throughout this video let me know what you guys think about your guys' opinions and other than that let us get into today's video okay so first things first for the first seed I have the Milwaukee Bucks being able to lock up the first seed for the second straight year in a row. Obviously, Giannis Antetokounmpo is coming back. It's coming off of his second MVP back-to-back -back seasons last year, and he's coming off of a Defensive Player of the Year. And he just signed the Supermax, so that's good for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's going to stay long-term guaranteed now. And it just basically brought up down all the talks of Giannis leaving the Bucks. So that's good for the Bucks. So they don't have to worry about Giannis leaving the team anytime soon. And they acquired Drew Holiday in exchange for Eric Bledsoe obviously that's an upgrade because Drew Holiday is a better player for Eric Bledsoe and you guys already know Giannis is probably most likely going to go full throttle during this regular season so I really think the Milwaukee Bucks is going to be able to lock up that first seed are they going to have the best record better than the Lakers probably but I wouldn't be surprised if they have the second best record of the league but either way they're still going to be able to lock up that first seed and maybe they can make some noise in the playoffs despite acquiring Drew Holiday and keeping Chris Militae and Giannis intact so we're just going to have to wait and see how this Bucks team performs and moving on now for the second seed I mean you guys already know who it is the Brooklyn Nets Kevin Durant is back Kyrie Irving is back they both look good in the preseason let's see how it works out in the regular season but and me personally all jokes aside I really have this team going for potentially in the playoffs for me I really think this team could push for an NBA finals I mean looking at their roster they have a very deep roster outside of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving obviously outside of those two players they have Karis LeVert who was able to score 51 points last season when they were both out so that's a plus they have Spencer Dinwiddie who was able to lead the point guard position when Kyrie Irving wasn't able to play so that's a plus they have Jared Allen who's a really great defensive player down in that paint they have Joe Harris who's a really great catch and shoot player he could um, pretty much play like a Clay Thompson type of player almost I mean almost that same as that role I mean you guys already know how he plays and stuff like that they have a very deep roster in my opinion but I mean I already know roster means nothing on paper but I really think this team can make it work for throughout the whole regular season players I really have high hopes in this team obviously Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are going to be one of the best duos in the NBA as of this season so I really look forward to watching this team play throughout this whole season and watch out for this team this team's going to definitely make noise in the playoffs come playoffs time watch out now for the third seed I have the Boston Celtics coming out the third seed just like last season they were able to lock up that third seed but they fell short to the underdog Miami Heat but this season they pretty much have the same team in regards to keeping Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum and Kemba Walker who are the three main stars for the team and they were they made a couple trades here and there they acquired Tristan Thompson they released Brad Watermaker to get an upgrade point guard backup and for in regards to Jeff Teague so I mean they got an upgrade for the backup point guard so that's a good thing but I don't know how Tristan Thompson is going to be able to deal with this team. I mean, Tristan Thompson, he's a decent player, but I don't really don't know if, I mean, looking at their center spot, they're really undersized in the center. So this team has been lacking on the center spot for years now. So, I mean, let's hope Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Kim Walker can provide this team with enough impact in order to basically fill in that void for that center spot. But, I mean, Tristan Thompson, like I've already said, he's a pretty decent center, but he's like a little small for the center position. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But this team is going to consistently be good. I don't know if they're going to be able to make the finals this season, but this team is always going to be a team that teams are going to have to watch out for in the playoffs, as they've already previously made a bunch of deep pushes in the playoffs previously in previous seasons. So you never know. The Celtics can potentially make the finals. They could potentially surprise the world, beating the Nets and Bucks potentially this playoffs, or they could potentially just lose uh, probably in the conference finals or the second round. You never know. You're just going to have to wait and see. Now, coming in at the four seed, 
I love this team, the Miami Heat. Obviously, this team has a bunch of dogs on this team. Jimmy Butler, a dog. Bam out of bow, a dog. J Tyler Hero surprised the world. Last playoffs, I mean, last season, this Miami Heat team really surprised the world. They made the finals when everybody didn't expect them to make the finals. At least me, personally, I really didn't expect this team to make the finals at all. And they really defied all odds. They were pretty much the underdog coming inside last season's playoffs. And this season, I really think they're going to be able to be the four seed. Obviously, they have experience now they experienced the younger players in regards to Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson Duncan Robinson is a really great catch and shoot uh, player for this team so you never know this team could potentially surprise the world again and make a deep playoff push but I highly doubt that they're going to be able to do the same thing they did last season they have the Brooklyn Nets in their way and I really think their favorites to make the finals are coming out the east the Milwaukee Bucks who acquired Drew Holiday in exchange for Eric Bledsoe which was an upgrade and obviously the Boston Celtics they, uh, they upgraded their backup point guard position so I mean, like I said, they can potentially make the finals again, but I just highly doubt it. But if they don't, they're going to be able to lock up that fourth seed and they're still going to be able to be a great team come to the playoffs in any way in general. So you never know. You're just going to have to wait and see. Now for the fifth seed. I have the Toronto Raptors so last season the Toronto Raptors were the second seed and I have them falling down to the fifth seed due to a lot of conditions that you have to keep in consideration obviously the Toronto Raptors during this all season they lost a bunch of key players and that's really gonna hurt them coming into this season they lost Mark Gasol and they lost Serge Ibaka those two players are really great key contributors for this team to, to be able to succeed high in the seedings and potentially make deep playoff push so I'm obviously losing these two players are really gonna negatively impact this team in a negative way more come to worse and obviously due to those considerations they're gonna fall down to the fifth seed in my opinion they basically have almost the same team as last season minus those two players that i just mentioned but i mean this team can potentially move up in the scenes they could potentially prove me wrong and be the second seed again but i just highly doubt it they lost so many pieces last season so i really don't think they're gonna be able to play as good as they did last season but they'll still going to be in playoff conversations as always and another thing to keep in consideration is that Kyle Lowry is getting older and we don't know what he's going to be able to do for this team come in the future so I really don't know if he's going to take a step back this season in the future or he's going to be basically be in the same spot as he was last season so there's a really a lot of things to keep in consideration for the Toronto Raptors so I really don't know how they're going to work this season we're just going to have to wait and see once the regular season starts now for the sixth seed I have the Philadelphia 76ers now this may be a surprise to a lot of people because if you look at the roster they basically upgraded their roster in regards to their considerations and their circumstances for last season obviously last season they acquired a bunch of big names and people expected this team to go far but the spacing was lacking ferociously and it really impacted them come to come to the playoffs and come through the regular season basically the whole time and they basically fixed that spacing problem out as they got Seth Curry and Danny Green who are two knockdown shooters and reliable shooters that you can rely on but I don't know despite looking at their upgrades and their roster in regards to the spacing standpoint I really don't know if they're going to be able to do better than the six seed because looking at the east they have a lot of competition ahead of them and they could potentially play good but they could probably just not play good enough in order to for them to advance past the six seed obviously they could they could potentially do better than the six seed they could advance higher than the six seed but I highly doubt it I really think this team is going to be able to be the six seed and obviously Ben Sim is not having a jump shot at that point guard is still gonna hurt them you already know what joy and beats gonna bring to the table but looking at all these roster teachers for this team and looking at their stars i really still think this team's gonna have a 60 ceiling obviously they have a new coach in doc rivers so that's a plus i guess but i really don't know we're just gonna have to wait to see what the, what they could do this season and we, we're just gonna have to determine from there now for the seventh seed I got the Washington Wizards. Obviously, last season, they weren't a good team at all. Bradley Bill was dropping 50 points and still losing. But obviously, they acquired Russell Westbrook from the Houston Rockets in exchange for John Wall. And I really feel like Russell Westbrook can bring that, that can be that great catalyst and bring this team over the hump in order to make the seventh seed. Obviously, they're not going to be a great team this season, but they're going to be a good enough team and really entertaining to watch this season. And they're going to potentially be in the playoffs. And looking at the season, 
seed they placed, I'm really looking forward to Russell Westbrook versus Kevin Durant in the playoffs. That's going to be, be really fun to watch in my opinion. But look at all circumstances. This team lacks a lot of defense. I know last season this team was statistically the worst defensive team in the league. And looking at their roster, they really haven't improved their defense at all. Like literally at all. So their defense is going to be a really great problem. And I really feel like that their defense is going to be the main reason as to why they lose a bunch of games that they could have won. And that's going to uh, ultimately lead them to the seventh seed. I mean, they have potential to surprise everybody and move up, but I highly doubt it. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure everybody else highly doubts that they're higher than a seven seed ceiling, in my opinion. So we're just going to have to wait and see what this team does. This team's going to be very fun to watch. Bradley Bill and Russell Westbrook duo is going to be one of the back, best backcourts in the league. And we just got to wait and see. They're going to have to fix their defense along the way if they want to push for deep playoff runs. But for right now, they're going to be the seventh seed for this season. Now for the AFC, just like the Western Conference, this was a really hard choice because there are a couple teams in this conference that could potentially make the AC, but all in all, I had to go with the Indiana Pacers because I feel like the Indiana Pacers are one of those teams that get highly disrespected every year and they prove everybody wrong, so I really wouldn't doubt the fact that the Indiana Pacers are going to be in the playoffs yet again. Obviously, they still have Victor Oladipo. I mean, Victor Oladipo, ever since that injury, he hasn't been the same, but maybe this season, Victor Oladipo could turn back to the way he was back in 2018 where he was that all-star for the team obviously they have Demontis Sabonis who was injured during the bubble last season and now they're getting him back they still got efficient Malcolm Brogdon in the mix who was their point guard last season it's gonna be it's gonna continue to be their point guard this season but there's really not a, a lot to expect from this team the East got stronger in my opinion this season and due to that I feel like the Pacers is gonna fall to the AC last season they were the four seed up here but obviously I mean like I said looking at the conditions of the Eastern Conference they're gonna fall down TJ Warren he was a dog last season in the bubble but I really highly doubt if he is that he's gonna be able to play the way he did in the bubble so I really don't know him but other than that I have the Indiana Pacers at the A seed and the team that I was really struggling with to put as the A seed was the Atlanta Hawks Ozzy they acquired Rosh and Rondo and Danilo Gallinari they still have Trey Young but I still don't think the team is ready to make a playoffs as of right now but don't get me wrong the Atlanta Hawks they don't have a long way to go I really feel like if the Pacers don't make the players the Atlanta Hawks is going to be able to lock up that AC position because like I said they acquired those two veterans that could potentially mentor Trey Young obviously Roger Ronda played the point court position so he can mentor Trey Young and which is going to be the future star for this team and don't be surprised if this Atlanta Hawks team is able to make some noise during the regular season in the future and possibly the playoffs I really have high hopes in this team at the end of the day but other than that that will conclude my list for the Eastern Conference we did the Western Conference already if you didn't watch that video too into that video but that would be the end of my all in all predictions for this season i really can't wait for this season to start this season starts in two days and now i got my predictions that we're gonna have to look back at these two videos when the regular season ends to see how accurate my predictions are but other than that make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel i will greatly appreciate it i'm out peace